All right. It is that time of year, the end of the year. Everybody is kind of frustrated with the grades they got. Everybody's trying to improve their grade just a little bit more to get higher overall. And that might mean fighting for extra grades or asking for extra marks on a particular assignment. Uh, so today what I want to do is I want to break down some ways that students have perhaps not asked for extra marks in the best way uh, and ways to improve that so that you can more effectively ask for grades uh, or actually get a second chance in completing an assignment to get more grades in your class. So here are two examples of um, what students have actually done. Uh, they've actually emailed me these uh, to ask for extra grades. So these are two different folks and, and I've made them blind so you don't know who they are. Uh, so let's look at the first one. So hello, I hope you're doing well. Um, I have I was having concerns. Grammar, you know, anytime you want to like, you know, trying to win over a professor, you know, using correct grammar is a good way to go about it. Um, so maybe, you know, one thing that I'm going to talk about is how we can use ChatGPT to improve the writing and, you know, how can we use it as a tool to help not just complete assignments, but in really in all aspects of, you know, becoming a, being a university student. So, you know, getting it to improve your grammar is one way to go about it. So I was having concerns. What are you no longer having concerns? You probably still are. So I, I have concerns. It would have been a better way to write it, but I was having concerns regarding my assignment that I submitted. I got, uh, I got it graded as 70, again, grammar, you know, it received a grade of 70%. And in my mind, 70% may or may not be bad. You know, I teach a first year class. So this is 70% in the first year class. This is average, okay? Uh, even though I received good feedback, oh, okay, uh, on all the portfolios and have successfully met basic requirements for the assignment. Okay, so you got good feedback and you made, met the basic requirements and you got an average mark. I'm not seeing the issue. Uh, I think I should have received a higher mark. For all the feedback you have given me for the assignment, I have done what you expected. And there were just a few suggestions you asked me to, uh, asked to, asked me to, I don't know, again, grammar. Uh, I think I gave my best for the assignment. Well, that's good that you think you gave your best, uh, but it really doesn't matter, you know, the effort, right? It, it, it matters what you put on the page, okay? I'm not asking you for an extra mark. Oh, you're not? I want a higher mark for the assignment. Well, this doesn't make any sense. I'm not asking you for an extra mark. I want a higher mark on this. I'm, I'm aiming for an A in the course. So this is like a big no-no for me personally. You know, I don't care what you're striving for in the course. I care what you include on the paper. So I think you need to mark me according to that fairly. So what does that mean? You have to get an A or you're upset? I don't know. Anyways, so there's a, clearly a whole bunch of issues with this email, okay? So I would like to suggest anytime, you know, and, and, and obviously static state, it's easy to criticize somebody else's email that was probably written in a fury. What I recommend is anytime you write an email in a fury, you then copy and try to see if you can find any suggestions that might help you out um, in ChatGPT. Okay, so uh, uh, I want to email, I want to ask, my professor for more grades on an assignment. You have a persuasive email. Reconsiders uh, my assignment. Okay, there we go. So the prompt, and again, the one thing that we've learned, we don't know a lot about ChatGPT, but the one thing we have learned is that prompts are incredibly important. And those who want to get ahead in life will learn how to prompt their AI. So I want to ask my professor for more grades on an assignment. So that's the overall what you're trying to do. Uh, can you help me craft a persuasive email so that my professor reconsiders my assignment reconsiders the grade or my assignment. I'd probably also, you know, if you want to, this like the person who wrote this email is clearly focused on the grade. And I think they're saying, I'm not asking for an extra money. They don't want more uh, extra work. I don't know. Uh, but in the prompt, you could also say, look for ways to get a higher grade or something like that. All right. So let's see what, uh, you know, the chat bot says. Okay. 
Uh, so dear professor, yes, they even, you know, put spots. I hope this email finds you well and in good spirits. All right, good. I'm reaching out to you today regarding the recent grade I received on my assignment, assignment name number. I think that's, that's good. Uh, although <clears throat> I appreciate the feedback you provided, I believe my submission deserves a higher mark. I've carefully reviewed the assignment guidelines and rubric. And I believe that I've met all the basic requirements. One thing I'd probably say is instead of like these general lines, I'd probably be as specific as possible, right? Like what is it exactly? What basic requirements did you meet that you didn't fairly get graded for? Because this is like super general. And I would, if I were to read this, if I received this as an email, one, this is better than the last one, yes. But if I received this as an email, I'd probably be like, where are the specifics? Remember, professors are overwhelmed with how much they have to mark. Professors and TAs, okay? They're overwhelmed with have to, how, how much they have to mark. If you can be as specific as possible and make it as black and white as possible, hey, I was supposed to get a, you know, a particular, in order, you know, based on one factor of this essay, if you did these three things, you get a 10 out of 10. Well, I did two of them and I got a one out of 10. For, you know, doing two of the three, you should probably get like a six or a seven out of 10, right? Make it as black and white as possible for when you're trying to uh, argue for grades. Additionally, I incorporated your feedback suggestions to improve my work. Well, this doesn't make any sense. The feedback was provided after the assignment was due. So you can't just solely copy what ChatGPT says. And I work diligently to produce a high quality submission. Okay, well, that's, uh, therefore I feel that a grade of X would be more reflect. Okay, so this, I know ChatGPT is solely trying to incorporate content from your email, but never talk about you know, your desirable grade, right? Talk about the facts in terms of what you delivered, what feedback you got and on the rubric and, and, and stick to there. Never say, Hey, I, I, you know, I want to get an A, right? Because you're, you're not linking what you've actually done to that grade. Okay. As a dedicated student in your course, I'm committed to achieving my academic goals. And I believe that a higher grade on this assignment would help me achieve that. Yes, that's a no brainer. Okay. But it still sound, kind of sounds nice. I'm not asking for a grade boost, but rather a fair evaluation of my work. Ooh, this sounds way better. This sounds way better. Yeah. Around a fair evaluation. Yes. Um, thank you for taking the time to consider my question. I appreciate your efforts to help me succeed in this course. I look forward to your response. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like the email. There's a couple things that I told you about. About uh, one, never talk about the grade. Where, where is it? Uh, what desired grade? Also, add specifics. 100%. You need to add specifics in there. Uh, but this gives you a pretty big, pretty good frame. The other thing I do is probably copy or not copy. Oh, sorry, uh, attach the assignment to the bottom of this email to make it as easy as possible for you. I've attached uh, the assignment as well as the feedback you provided me. And I've included comments specifically where I feel that I uh, correctly included content in the essay where you deducted marks for. So to make it as easy as possible on the professor to go to your paper, figure out, okay, I deducted marks for this, but you know, clearly the student has underlined where in the assignment that they have done X, Y, and Z, right? That's, that's the, that's a home run. All right. Let's see what, um, student asking for marks number two says, hello, sir. Can you please review my assignment? No introduction. You know, you know, at least the student, I hope you're doing well. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's at least, you know, it's a little more, you know, I don't know. It just makes me sound like this one, this student gets it right down to business. Now it'd be nice to, you know, get a little, Hey, how's it going? Right? Like that kind of idea. Maybe it's just me. Um, can you please review my individual assignment? I believe I deserve a better grade than the one I received. And I think it's due to how strict my TA is when it comes to grading. I, uh, I attach my individual assignment. Okay, well, that's nice. You attach the assignment just in case grammar um, and run on. But uh, yeah, this is, I think this is better than the previous one, but obviously there's still issues. Um, again, blaming the TA for how strict they are rather than, again, representing it as a, a fair assignment. I'm going to actually use the same prompt. Let's see. Let's see what, if I get, what I get. Can I do that? Okay. So I've written, let's see how different it will be. I don't want to space. I want to 
submit. All right, so let's see. I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to inquire about the grade I received on my recent individual assignment in course. Hmm. I guess if you had to teach multiple, if you had to profess for multiple courses, but it's still kind of nice, to be honest, uh, to put the course name because some professors teach multiple courses. It would be nice to associate that course with, you know, even in like the, I guess even like the subject line, right? Did the one, the one above it say no? In the subject line, it would be kind of nice to say like, hey, this is for, you know, X assignment in course X. Of course, why? Uh, I appreciate your thoroughness in grading assignments and providing constructive you, but I have some concerns about, yeah, see, this is, see, you know what I said about it's nice to say, hey, how's it going at the beginning of it? This is nice, right? I appreciate, just to acknowledge that the professor has not, you know, the professor has spent time already reviewing it, but you want to talk about it a little more. That's, that's nice. Uh, as I reviewed the assignment guidelines in my submission, I believe that my work deserves a higher grade. Again, general but this is a good introduction right here you you be more specific instead of saying i put a lot of time and effort into completing this time you know that's a little bit of a rubbish right you you say i believe that my work deserves a higher grade on the what was assignment for example boom 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 is i got deducted marks for for this however on page three paragraph two i said this 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 right what you want to do is try to build the case build evidence to suggest that the professor, you know, marked your professor or your TA, in this case, they were blaming the TA, uh, marked the assignment too harshly. Okay. Uh, I put a lot of effort and time into completing the assignment, and I feel that I met all the requirements and expectations set forth in the instructions. For example, again, ChatGPT doesn't know the details. You need to be de very detailed, right? Very specific. The grader C did not reflect the quality of work, <clears throat> for example, right? These are all like nice general statements, but you need to be specific. Now, I understand that grading can be subjective, but I am confident that my submission merits a higher grade. You know, in the previous iteration of what ChatGPT, I like the, I, I like the wording around receiving a fair evaluation rather than uh, a higher grade. Right, because you're not asking for more grades or extra marks. You're asking for a fair evaluation, and the professor did not, or the TA did not mark, did not evaluate your assignment fairly. I've attached my assignment to the, uh, for your review. I'd appreciate. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is good. Okay. So again, ChatGPT simply copying your emotionally quick two-second email that you were going to send the professor, plop it into ChatGPT, uh, and you're going to get something that is quite a bit stronger. Now let's see what ChatGPT would just say on an, on their own, not prompting them with a specific emotionally driven email. Okay. Um, so let's see. I would like. Uh, a, I like that you're going to make a persuasive craft, a persuasive email. Assignment B. That's what we're going to call it. Let's see what ChatGPT uh, responds. Dear Professor Alinsky, I hope this email finds you well. See, you know, even ChatGPT knows the simple things up front are important. I'm writing... Uh, I'm writing to respectfully request that you review and reconsider revising, consider revising my grade on assignment B in course. Again, I like the course. Um, I understand that grading can be subjective, but I believe that the grade that I received did not reflect the quality of work. I, I carefully followed the assignment guidelines. Yeah, this is good. Again, you're missing the, like, it's missing the detail, which they would, you know, unless you give the prompts, they won't know the details. But uh, this is a good worded email. Uh, I'm not asking for a significant increase in my grade, but I believe that a few extra marks would be more reflective of the effort and attention. Again, I don't like the idea of effort, but attention to detail uh, that I put on the assignment as a diligent student in your class. I'm committed to achieving my academic goals. I believe the higher grade assignment would help me step in the right direction. Again, I don't know how I feel about the idea of, you know, talking about your, your, your academic success as a whole, focus on, you know, the specific content in a course, specific content in an assignment, but you know, that could just be me. 
Uh, I understand that your time is valuable, but I would appreciate it a moment to, to review my submission. You know, the one thing that uh, ChatGPT doesn't say that I love is like, you know, as a professor, I, re I literally receive like a hundred requests for people to review, for me to review their assignments. I teach over a thousand students here. I receive over a hundred requests for people, to, for me to review their assignments. And they'll send me an email, like something like this, not not as good as ChatGPT, but something like this. Um, and they just expect, they expect two minute email. Somebody will review, your professor will review their assignment and they'll get a higher grade. Uh, if you really want to get a higher grade, you know, put, you know, Invest some more time into it. Instead of spending two minutes on an email, don't spend five minutes on an email. Offer to meet. Actually, meeting is like way more, for me, it'd be way uh, more motivating, persuasive uh, for, for me to reconsider somebody's grade because that's not just saying that they you know put effort and attention and detail into the assignment or, or that they're committed to achieving their academic goals by sending a two-minute uh, email. If you're physically going to like show up and like, you know, arrive at somebody's office when you're not supposed to be on campus or meet them after class, you're like, you're not just talking the talk, you're actually walking, you're showing, you're putting your time in to help you achieve the academic goals. So for me, that's way more persuasive. Plus, I think it's much easier to, you know, maybe it's just me, but I think it's easier to persuade somebody to get extra marks to win over an argument um, in person, as opposed to in an email that somebody spent two minutes on. So I always recommend to, to interact and talk, actually talk with the professor, even whether it's over Zoom, like something virtual like this, or in an office is better than simply an email. Um, but maybe that's just me. Okay. Anyways, guys, this is uh, my view of how we can use ChatGPT as a tool to help you fight for extra grades on your assignment. I hope you found this helpful. Till next time. Bye-bye.